And then when your 3D models have this kind of um, weird, I don't know how to explain it actually. It's just weird geometry, I guess, where we did the edge slide and also where we pulled out these edge loops. I guess this, this is what they would call an N-gon because it's not a quad and a quad has four sides or a triangle has three sides. So this one, I think that's what they call it, would be an N-gon. So whenever I have this shape, I just kind of knife it from one end to the other. And this one's creating a triangle in the front. That way, from this angle, you can see we're looking at it from the front. And then where we made that cut is actually creating a quad. And they just need to fix these edges by deleting some of them to make sure you have quads instead of triangles. Dependent on you, just make sure your shapes are either quads or triangles and you'll be perfectly fine. At least that's how I've kind of learned it. It makes your topology so much better doing it with quads and triangles. I try my best to make everything quads. It's just easier to apply your textures, but I did the same thing for the bottom, knifed it to create that triangle in the front. That way the 3D shape actually makes sense like from the front view, you can see where the curve is. And then from the back view, we kind of have this column for the low poly design and it makes sense. And that way your shape looks a lot much better from every perspective. You can definitely see how the shape is from the way I cut it. And it has a low poly design. So it has a aesthetic that works really well, keeping it as a prototype character.